Okay, so for this problem, it's a little bit different. And as you remember, when we were dealing with, you know, the x squared, that we said that the square root of x squared, we knew equaled x, right? Yes. So now, since we're dealing with the fourth root, we need to know that the fourth root of a number to the fourth power is going to equal x. Okay. Right. So in our last problem, we wanted to get everything to represent it as a square so we could cancel it out, mm -hmm. right? Well, now what we want to do is we want to see what numbers can we represent as a as to the fourth power, okay? Okay. So, uh, you know, this problem could be pretty easy if I just had this as, um, so I'll just go with it. So we need the fourth power. So I need to represent 16 as a number raised to the fourth power. So you can automatically just start thinking of, you know, what numbers raised to the fourth power are going to equal 16? Well, 1 raised to the fourth power is going to be 1. And what we work as 2 raised to the fourth power equals 16. Okay? Right. So, and the reason, remember, we want to use this rule because we want the fourth root of something to the fourth is going to cancel out. Okay. Then, I already have w to the fourth power, so that's good. Yep. And then I need to think, remembering the rules of exponents, if anything of an exponent raised to another exponent equals x to multiplying the exponent. So I need to multiply 4 by something to get to 8. And we obviously know that answer is going to be 2, right? Yeah. So I write this as v squared to the 4th. And the reason, again, I want to write it v squared to the 4th is because I want that 4th so it will cancel out. All right. So just like here, these cancel out to give us x. Those 4s cancel out, that 4 cancels out, and that 4 cancels out, leaving us with the final answer of 2w v squared. Right. Make sense? Yep.